एवरी वन माई नेम इज़ यशी गुप्ता एंड आई एम फ्राम शेर कश्मीर यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर साइंसिस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी जम्मू आई स्टडी बी टेक बायो टेक्नोलॉजी देव आई एम इन फर्स्ट ईयर गज आई एम रिप्रजेंटिंग यू माई प्रजेंटेशन ऑन प्रोडक्शन टेक्नोलॉजी ऑफ ब्रिंजल विच इज़ अ पार्ट ऑफ माई कोर्स प्रोडक्शन टेक्नोलॉजीज फॉर हॉर्टिकल्चर क्रॉप्स आई होप यू विल इन्जॉय इट so first of all we will discuss some introduction of the brinjal so its scientific name is solanum melongena and family is solanaceae so so brinjal is the one of the most common tropical vegetables grown in india it is also known by different names at different places a large number of cultivars differing in size shape and colors of fruits are grown in india fruits are major source of vitamins and minerals like phosphorus calcium iron and nutrition value where i varies variety from variety okay so we are studying about brinjal but what are the benefits of brinjal okay so the fruit is nutrient rich and has many health advantages brinjals contain bioflavonoids which may help in maintaining stress levels and blood pressure it can also aid in weight loss due to the its high water content and low calorie count the fruits are rich in various other nutrients as well for example iron calcium potassium that help in keeping your bones healthy brinjals can help in keeping your gut healthy and improve digestion as they are rich source of fibers the high fiber content of brinjals can also help in eliminating the bad cholesterol in the body now the climate favorable for the production of brinjal technology brinjal is a warm season crop and requires a long warm growing season it is susceptible to frost okay now uh, a daily mean temperature of 13 to 21 degrees celsius is most favorable for its successful production the growth of the crop is severely affected when temperature below 17 degrees celsius falls okay and it can be successfully grown as a rainy season and summer season crop and grown can be grown at the elevation of 1200 meter above the sea level now season it can be grown in plains throughout the year but rabi season is the best one rainy season june to july winter season october to november and summer season february to march now soil which is favorable for the production technology of brinjal so brinjal is a hardy crop and is cultivated under a wide range of soils since a long duration crop with high yield well drained and fertile soil is preferred for the crop crop grown in crop grown in sandy soil yield early and those grown in clay soil yield more an ideal ideal ph for cultivation of crop is 5.5 to 6.6 now we will discuss the varieties of brinjal there are so many varieties of brinjal first is co1 originated in 1978 so guys it's a pure line selection fruits are oblong pale green with white background fruits are soft seeded even at the maturity full maturity yield is about 20 to 25 tons per hectare and crop duration is 140 to 145 days picture can you can see it on the screen second one is co0 co2 okay originated in 1988 so it's a pure line selection from varika thriti kathri fruits are slightly oblong having dark purple streaks under pale green background without spines on the calyx surface fruits are soft seeded even at full maturity yield is about 35 tons per hectare and crop duration is 150 days mdu1 originated in 1979 it's a pure line selection from kalampatti local fruits are round with large si size each weighing about 200 to 250 grams bright purple in color with less seed content yield is about 130 uh, sorry 30 tons per hectare and crop duration is 140 days and it is preferred in tricky tricky districts pkm1 1984 originated so it's an induced mutant of a local type fruits are small with green strips 
yield is about 35 tons per hectare and the crop duration is about 150 to 155 days and it is adapted to rain fed condition and picture you can see it on the screen PLR1 originated in 1990 reselection from Nagpur eco type fruits are small medium sized purple in color egg shaped dark purple and glossy in appearance yield is about 25 tons per hectare and crop duration is about 135 to 140 days KKM originated in 1995 it's a pure light selection from Kalutha local fruits are born in cluster with two to four in number okay egg shape milky white in color yield is about 37 per tons per hectare in a crop duration of 130 to 135 days next one is PPI B Single line selection from Kalungal local type, fruits are lengthy, pale green in color, less seeded and bitter less. Yield is about 50 tons per hectare in a crop duration of 185 days. Next one is PLR BR2. Single plant selection from Seven Thampatti local, fruits are oval in shape, dark purple with pink tingle and glossy. Average yield is about 38 tons per hectare. TNAU Brinjal VRM1 It's a pure line selection from Velour District. Fruits are oval in shape, glossy pink in color with a uh, green tingle in the distal end, resistant to leaf spot, verticillium wilt and apelanchia betel. It's a cluster bearing type and yield is about 40 to 45 tons per hectare in a crop duration of 140 to 150 days. Next one is COBH1 originated in 2001. It's a hybrid between EP45 and CO2. Fruits are dark violet in color, high ascorbic acid content. Yield is about 56 tons per hectare in a crop duration of 120 to 130 days. Next one is COBH2 which is originated in originated of 2002. It's a hybrid between EP65 and Pusa Uttam, moderately total and, uh, torrent to shoot and fruit borer. Fruits are medium sized, slightly oblong and gloss, glossy violet in color. Fruits contain ascorbic acid content also. Recommended an, uh, irrigation condition during July to December and January to June. High yielding that is 58 tons per hectare and in a crop duration of 120 to 130 days. Okay, the, uh, these varieties was southern varieties. Okay, now we will discuss some northern varieties. Pusa purple long, Pusa purple cluster, Azad kranti, Pusa purple round, Pusa hybrid 5, Arka keshav, Arka shirish, Pusa barsati, Arka Kusumkar, Pusa Uttam, Arka Navneet. Okay, guys, these were northern kind of varieties, northern varieties of brinjal. And uh, what we have discussed before them was southern varieties of brinjal. Now we have come to seed rate and treatment. Varieties are over. Seed rate and treatment. So, on an average, 370 to 500 gram seed is required for raising required seedlings for 1 hectare land. And for the seed treatment, seed treatment with Trichoderma viridae or T. herzianum at the rate of 2 gram per 100 gram of seed is used to prevent seed and seed borne infection of fungal diseases. Now we have come to planting. Under planting, we have two topics, two things, land preparation and spacing. So, land preparation, the field is uh, plugged to fine tilth by giving 4 to 5 plugging with a sufficient interval between two pluggings. Planking should be done for proper leveling. The field is then divided into beds and channels, well decomposed. FYM is thoroughly incorporated at the time of the long land preparation. Okay, now spacing. 
Spacing depends upon the type of variety grown and the season of planting. Normally, the long fruited varieties are transplanted at 60 into 45 cm of spacing. The round variety is uh, at 75 into 60 cm of spacing and high yielding variety at varieties at 90 into 90 cm per spa uh, of spacing. I hope you are uh, you all are clear with that. Now, now we have come to very important topic: manure and fertilizers. Generally, application of one fifty kilogram nitrogen, hundred kilogram P two O two, and fifty sorry hundred kilogram of P two O five and fifty kilogram of K two O is recommended for optimum yield. Half dose of nitrogen and full dose of potassium and uh, phosphorus is given at the time of the planting the balance half of nitrogen is given in three equal split doses for hybrid varieties the recommended doses is uh, dose is uh, 200 kg nitrogen 100 kg p205 and 100 kg k2o now we will discuss about the irrigation so continuous supply of moisture should be maintained around the root zone of the plant uh, Light irrigation is given on the first and the third day after the transplanting. Thereafter, irrigation is given at the interval of 8 to 10 days during winters and 5 to 6 days during summer. Now, diseases the diseases which occur at the time of the production of the brinjal. So, the main diseases are, diseases are damping of leaf spot, little leaf. So, for the cure. Of this disease, we use damping of, we use uh, Trichoderma viridi or Pseudomonas fluorescence. For the cure of leaf spot, we use Mancozeb, and the for the cure of little leaf, we use Methyl Demeton. Now harvest and yield. So harvest. Harvest can be done after 55 to 60 days of transplanting. Fruits are harvested at tender age at 4 to 5 days interval. Yield. Varieties give yield about 25 to 30 tons per hectare and hybrids give yield about 60 to 80 tons per hectare. So guys, the main thing was uh, uh, the, all the information regarding the production technology of brinjal is almost over. And uh, at the end of this, uh, and at the end of my PPT, I would like uh, to pay a vote of thanks. So, making this PPT was uh, a part of a course, Production Technology for Horticulture Crops. This presentation was an assignment from our respected professor. So, I pay a vote of thanks to our respected course instructor, Dr. Prashant Bakshi, sir, who is continuously teaching us virtually, even in this lockdown period due to coronavirus pandemic. This presentation was incomplete without his guidelines. I am very very thank you to you sir if you are watching this. And uh, and guys uh, we all know we are uh, suffering from COVID-19. A hectic pandemic. So a special thanks to all the COVID-19 warriors who are doing their duty even during this lockdown period. Only for the nation's well-being. Thank you so much to all those warriors. And thank you all you who are watching my presentation. I hope you all are uh, you all liked it, you all enjoyed it, and you all uh, got some information after watching my PPT. Thank you very much.